Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Rick Bork. If you haven't seen my channel before, I don't know why not. There's like a hundred videos now. And we're up to 50 subscribers. I do appreciate that, but we need a bunch more. Lots more. So, tell your friends, tell your family. Send them a link. You know, there's got to be something on there somebody likes. The birds will shut up. you probably hear me better. But, we're out here at the cabin tonight, and I'm going to show you what we got going on. Most people wouldn't show you this because some people are like, I don't want to show you when stuff doesn't work out right. So here's what happened on the cabin. That beam started to twist out on me. Okay? And it was actually worse than that. And we'll jump over to a picture of that. So what we're going to do here is we put this LVL in, and maybe you can see right there, we have a series of steel brackets that I welded together at a 90 degree angle to hold that LVL in place. It's sitting on top of the concrete columns, and we have an entire series of bolts. There's a whole bunch of bolts. A whole bunch of bolts pulling, trying to pull that beam back straight again. This isn't a permanent fix. Right now, I'm just trying to keep it from getting worse. When we did check the level on the floor, we had lost about 3 16ths of an inch in level. Which isn't a huge deal, but over the span of 24 feet, that can be a lot. This is the middle beam on the cabin, so if that thing fails, it can be catastrophic. So that's why we went and supported the weight of the cabin on that LVL. And we're trying to pull that beam back. Now, the long-term solution here is going to be replacing all the beams underneath the cabin. There's three beams that were 2 by 10s bolted together. And for whatever reason, that one twisted. I don't know if it's because the board warped or one of the columns moved in the frost or what happened. Either way, it has to be fixed. There's no... That's not a long-term solution. For some people, they'd put that in there, they'd sister them together, and they'd be like, oh, good enough. So, right now, I'm pooling the resources and getting a plan together to jack this cabin up and put six new beams under it. Now, we're going to go with engineered beams this time instead of just dimensional lumber because, obviously, that didn't work. Um, our, my biggest challenge is I'm remote out here. I can't bring in heavy equipment. I have plenty of heavy equipment that's a half mile away at the farm. But So what we're going to do, we're going to get a series of jacks together, some more LVLs. We're going to use some LVLs for uh, lifting and supporting this cabin, <coughs> as well as LVLs for uh, actually replacing the beams that are in there. It's going to be a long process. I'm going to try to make videos as we go. Um, everything's just getting kind of crazy and out of control this summer. Um, I'm trying to make videos as I can, but it's just the how-to stuff and step-by-step -step action shots and all that crap. I, I just don't have time to get the camera set up at the perfect angle all the time because I'm just trying to get so much stuff done. So I'll try to recap everything as I'm doing it, but... The action shots and all that that just takes so much time. I hope you guys understand that. Um, when things slow down for me, then we'll get more in detail. And I kind of enjoy doing that when I have time, but right now I don't. So that's our crisis at the cabin. We got a lot of stuff going on. I'll get up to the farm here in a little while after I do some work out here. And uh, we'll make some videos up there as well. But we need to fix that this summer yet. So... I might have to might have to get some help. I'm not quite sure yet. I like to do things by myself, so sometimes to a fault. So we're gonna try. Anyway, that's the update at the cabin right now. We're gonna cut the grass and do some trimming. Start cleaning up some of this crap. Get it cut up, piled up. Get the firewood cut and split and the brush cleaned up. All that's going to be lawn and then a spot for the big garage that's going to be out here, 24 by 60. So we got just a stupid amount of work to do. I don't even know why I do this to myself. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you again next time.